Your little at-home date night tonight? I have corrupted Anna. She was all like, let's just do the normal thing. And I was like, no, let's get drunk and have sex. If that's what you want to do on date night, fine, do it. But who says that in front of young children? <gasps> Don't get drunk. <laughs> Unless you drink alcohol. In today's video, we're talking about the Sakoni Jolies. They deleted every YouTube video on their channel. They received a comment that put Anna over the edge. She went on an Instagram rant. A viewer left this comment. Hi, Jonathan. I've tried to contact you in good faith before about this, but have yet to receive a reply. One more try. You say that people talk shit about you daily because you take a stand for your trans child. But honestly, I don't see that. I see people having questions regarding Edie's highly personal journey being used as part of the revenue stream for your business. Asking an eight-year-old to become the face of an issue on a monetized channel is a huge responsibility in this toxic political climate. I'm not saying this as a hater, but as a fellow parent, bringing up a child in the trans family. We spent yesterday in Westminster protesting about trans conversion therapy. Edie spent it doing a Harry Potter toys ad while J.K. Rowling spent the day having brunch with an anti-trans hate group. I think it is the conflict that people take issue with, and I've tried to explain that as clearly and politely as possible. Best wishes. Now, let's hear Anna's reaction to this comment. So, I don't usually comment on stuff like this because it's so trivial. It's online. It's not even real life. What does she mean this isn't real life? I thought they shared their real life online. This is real life. But... This just rubbed me up the wrong way because... Did she just say rubbed me up the wrong way? What does that mean? What does that mean? I need to Google that. I think she meant rub me the wrong way, but maybe that's how they say it in the UK. I don't know. It was a fellow... I'm not sure actually if she's a fellow trans parent or because she said she's part of a trans family, so I'm not actually sure. But I just think when you're part of a community like that, why not just show love and like compassion to one another? That comment was not a hate comment at all. That was someone sharing their perspective, sharing what's actually going on. And for some reason, Jonathan and Anna can't see this for what it is. I don't get it. Like why throw each other under the bus? Like I just don't get that. You don't have to like me or my family. This was on Jonathan's page, by the way. You don't have to like us, but if you don't like us, maybe just don't follow or don't comment what is she even saying youtubers say this crap all the time just stop leaving me comments just let me do whatever i want to do i can exploit my children make money off my kids but you just don't leave a comment you just let me do whatever i want to do the internet doesn't work like that if you put yourself out there you're going to receive criticism feedback opinions comments this is exactly what youtubers want they want to make videos they want to put out content and they don't want to hear from you they don't want comments from you guys they don't unless you're praising them kissing their butt or telling them how great they are that's the only type of comment they want don't put your opinion on our page constantly like i just don't understand that either they're exploiting their daughter for views they're using her childhood her story to grow their social media platform this is a very controversial topic in general so to think that you can just come online say and do whatever you want and never hear another person's opinion her first line she says something along the lines of um i've tried to contact you in good faith before but um never got a reply, something like that. This right off the bat irritates me because <laughs> Jonathan has like over a million followers. There's no guarantee that he's going to see your message. The entitlement in that first line just pisses me off because he does his best, but there's just, there's no guarantee. Why does that piss you off so much? She is really bothered by this comment. And this is what I think. When you get a comment on Instagram or or on your YouTube video, and you know it's not the truth, it's BS, it doesn't bother you. You can let those comments roll off your back. But the comments that you know have some truth in them, they sting, buddy. I think this comment stings because it has so much truth to it. It's nothing to do with you if he hasn't seen or responded to your message. That, that annoyed me. <laughs> First off, that irritates me. Then she has the audacity to say, shit about you daily because you take a stand for your trans child. Nobody says that. I've never heard anyone talk crap about the Sakoni Jolies for taking a stand 
for their trans child. People talk about the Coney Jolies because they exploit, exploit, Anna, can you hear me? You guys exploit your trans child. I'm sorry, are you living in our shoes? Like, do you see what we see? Yeah, we see all the comments that are left on your social media platform. And the person that left this comment stated in their comment, they are a parent bringing up a child in a trans family. So yeah, they get it. That is Jonathan's truth. That is also my truth. Well, the audio's messed up on this clip, but she said that's half her truth. I don't really talk about the trans thing as much and I'm not as vocal about it because I know that people shit all over me if I do. And I don't want that kind of negative attention in my life. Whereas Jonathan just doesn't care. I wish I were more like him, but I'm not, I'm not strong enough. So I don't want thing all over my child. So I don't really ma mention it as much. Hold on, did she just admit that when you put your kids on the internet, they get shit all over? Did she just admit that? Because yeah, that's what happens. And she's saying she doesn't want that. So she doesn't talk about it as much as Jonathan, which is good. That's good because you wanna get it all off of social media. You wanna get your child's childhood off social media. But it's very interesting that she said people shit all over her kids. And even though people are shitting all over her kids, she chooses every day to continue to put them on social media. My mind is blown. That's crazy. The fact that this person is trying to say that this is not Jonathan's reality without living in his shoes is absolutely insane to me. Then she says that she sees Edie's highly personal journey being used as a revenue stream on our channels. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. You've been doing this since you got pregnant with your first child. You use your children to build your social media platform. You use them for content. You use them for sponsorships. It's all part of it. I don't understand why she's acting naive here. Like she doesn't understand how social media works. She's just trying to distract. She's trying to confuse everybody, it seems like, and just pretend like, pretend like she's not using her kids for content. I don't really know how, obviously if this isn't what you do for a living, you would not know how it works. Oh my goodness, Anna, please. We don't have to be an influencer to know how influencing works. Everybody on social media talks about it. You can literally Google it. Everybody knows how it works. This is not a big secret. We don't make money from TikToks unless they're like a paid for ad, um, which she's not referring to because she's specifically saying Edie's journey. So man, she's deflecting so hard here. Number one, you do get paid on TikToks. It's not a huge amount of money, but TikTok has a creator fund and, and you can definitely be paid for your TikToks. Number two, yes, you are using Edie's journey as content on YouTube. I've seen them. I've seen sponsorships with her in them. I've seen the YouTube videos. You're definitely using her journey as a way to make money on social media. And the fact that she's deflecting so hard here I just don't know what's going on. I don't know what she's talking about. No TikToks or Reels or anything like that specifically about Edie's journey have made money. That is how it is. Like we don't make any money off of just a rant, like a standard TikTok or Reel, unless it's an ad. Comment this person left gave you an example of an ad where Edie appeared in the ad and you used her to make money in this ad. So how can you sit there and say that you've never made money off of an Instagram reel or a TikTok with her in it? It was a Harry Potter ad by Mattel. Plus, you wouldn't get that ad unless you had kids. And the growth of your channel also helps you get brand sponsorships. This is not rocket science here. We all know how this works. I wasn't as vocal about stuff and Jonathan was more vocal. He was told that he was exploiting her. I was told that I was anti-trans, that I was um, transphobic, that I had a problem with it. Um, I was hated on and sent hate mail every single day, but so was Jonathan for the opposite reasons, which just proved to me even further that you can literally do nothing right. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I don't agree with that. You can do something right. You cannot share her story at all on social media. 
if you just took your kids off social media, you wouldn't get any hate at all about your kids because we wouldn't know anything about your kids, but you put it all on social media. So of course you're going to get people with different opinions. That's just how it is. Whether you agree with what we do or not, this is how we make a living. This is how we've made our living since what, 12 years ago, we first started. We make online content. Our children are a part of that. Your children are a part of this by choice because you choose to share their lives on social media and use them for content. Anna and Jonathan wouldn't have content without their kids. Whether they choose to be in the future or not, nobody knows. And that goes for any of the children, not just Edie. For Edie's personal journey, this was something that was chosen by her. No, kids can't choose this. What is she talking about? Oh my gosh, you cannot leave such a huge decision like this in the hands of a child. She can't begin to understand the ramifications of sharing her journey on social media. She has no clue. Parents are supposed to protect their children and make decisions for their children. Make decisions that are in the best interest of their child. Would you let your child eat ice cream every day for dinner? If that's what they wanted to eat every day, only ice cream for dinner. No, you wouldn't. You as a parent, you step in and you say, I know what's best for you as your parent. Parents don't even let their kids choose what they want to eat for dinner every night but you let them make the decision on if they want to share their personal journey on social media? Does that even make sense? Adult decisions should never be placed on children. Share. I personally believe not sharing it would have been more damaging for her because every other child is living there, of our children, are living their truth through our videos. How I see it, I don't see it from an exploitative lens. Well, take your glasses off because you need to see this for what it is. I cannot believe what she's saying. None of her, no money has ever been made from her sharing her story. Are you kidding me? You did a gender reveal for her on YouTube. The video has been deleted now, but you've literally made money off that video. Anna, why are you saying this? If you're talking about an ad or a sponsored video, that's a completely different thing. The Harry Potter video that that woman brought up, um, which incidentally, Edie did not spend that particular day making that video, which I thought was just a really thing to say. Like, we spent yesterday campaigning for, you know, anti-conversion therapy while Edie spent it making a Harry Potter ad. Like, seriously. Edie did make a Harry Potter ad and it was probably posted the same day this person left the comment. I could say something really nasty right now. I won't, but like, that's how I feel. Are you like, are you kidding me? Get off your self-righteous high horse. This comment stung, you can tell. Anna is so bothered by this comment and she's bothered by it because she knows it's the truth. This person is saying, hey, we're actually out there doing something positive for this community. Harry Potter video, which was filmed like weeks ago, is an ad. Yes, you are absolutely right. Got paid for that. Um, that has nothing to do with the fact that it is trans. That's what this viewer was talking about. You're growing your platform off of her journey, off of Edie and all your kids. You wouldn't get sponsorships like that if it wasn't for your kids. Ads that we make, that, that's how we make money. Children are a part of that, but willingly. Like they're not, they're not forced to do anything that they don't want to do. If they want to be a part of something that benefits them. That sounds like a bribe. It sounds like you bribe your kids to do these things because it benefits them. If you tell a child, hey, can I film you playing with a Harry Potter doll? If we film you playing with this Harry Potter doll, you get this doll and this doll and you get all these toys. Every kid would say yes to that. But you make them do these ads because it benefits you. The Sacconi Jolies are paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for one ad. Child actors, child models, child, well, like all of those things are exactly the same. No, they're not. A child actor is an actor. They are reading a script. It has nothing to do with their real life. Kids that are YouTubers and doing all of these ads, they have to show their life, their bedroom, their issues, their struggles. An actor doesn't do that. Plus, there are no laws to protect these kids. These kids are made to work 
any day, any time, any place, whenever their parents tell them to. Some of them are not even paid to work. They're working for free because their parents are spending all their money. It's not the same. Stop saying that. Every family vlogger, YouTube mom, YouTube dad says this and it's not the same. Something that benefits them. And you, it benefits you. Look at this mansion you live in. Look at the cars you guys drive. You guys drive the sickest cars, most expensive cars I've ever seen. This benefits you. Like the children get to live a great life. Our kids have a great life. Okay, you're supposed to give your kids a good life as a parent. Material things have nothing to do with having a good life. Lots of kids have good lives and they aren't forced to work on social media to pay their parents' bills. Okay, they're happy, they're well-fed, they're very well-fed. Your kids better be well-fed. I mean, you have to feed your kids. What is she saying here? They get thrown an incredible birthday party. All jokes aside, like totally aside from any material stuff, I don't actually believe that that has anything to do with children's happiness. I is she serious? She just said they're happy because they have extravagant birthdays and they have nice things. What is she even talking about here? More so the fact that they get their mom and dad every single day, like 24 seven. We're at home. And the only reason we're both able to be at home from birth is- But you guys have a nanny. They've had a nanny for years. I don't know if they currently have a nanny, but throughout the years, they've always had a nanny. Plus they work from home. So they do spend time away from their children because they have to work from home. So it's not like they get their parents undivided attention all day, every day. That's how she's making it sound. And that's not true. Plus they travel, they go to events, they've been to award shows, they do all these things. They don't just sit at home with their kids all day, every day. Of the jobs that we do, I'm eternally grateful for our jobs for that reason, that both their parents have been there for them from the beginning. And both of us are so close to all four of our children. But look what you've sacrificed. You've sacrificed and sold their privacy in their childhood just so that you don't have to work outside of your home. The best things that I've learned from this whole experience is that if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all. This is the world YouTubers want to live in. They push so hard for, hey, you viewer, don't say anything to me that I don't like. Don't call out my problematic behavior. Don't tell me I'm exploiting my kids. Hey, viewer, don't say anything to me that I don't like. That world doesn't exist. Do you really think YouTubers and influencers should be able to get online and do and say anything without a viewer ever sharing their opposing opinion? What? What world do they live in? Everybody's entitled to an opinion. Everyone has opinions about things. I have so many opinions about things that I just don't voice all the time because I just don't feel the need to like add to the noise. Um, and I like, I'll just keep it to myself. Yeah, like you did here. You kept all your opinions to yourself, didn't you? A lot of people don't operate from like in that way and they just feel the need to give an opinion about something even if they've never experienced anything like that themselves. The viewer who left this comment is experiencing these things. She said, I'm a parent bringing up a child in a trans family. So she's right there with you. She understands. Sometimes it's better to just sit back and like keep your mouth shut, especially like I said, if it's something that you've not been through before. So she's sitting here telling everybody to just be quiet, don't share your opinion. But here she is making a video, sharing her opinion on something. Like, why are we not allowed to do that if you are? And again, the viewer who left this comment knows this world. She's a parent bringing up a child in a trans family. So the argument you're giving here doesn't make sense. Probably had opinions. I mean, I'm not really sure. I, I don't really get involved in things that don't concern me, but I probably did have opinions that I just kept to myself about raising trans kids or like what people should or shouldn't do. Actually, having said that out loud, I don't think I ever did. <laughs> you can't change your mind. You just said that. You just said you had opinions on this too. Before having a trans child myself, I had no idea. I had no idea. And not just that, but before having ED, like every child is different. How can you judge? Like, how can you judge before you have that specific child? And that's why I've always been against judge. Like, how can you judge before you have that specific child? And that's why I've always been against. Anna's talking about her specific child here, but the comment the viewer left actually has nothing to do with your child and everything to do with you. 
and your husband and how you are using her journey as a way to monetize your business and grow your platform. Every child is different. Every parenting style is different. Like I said to that woman, um, I was so disappointed by her comment. Guys, I was so disappointed because she said that she came from a trans family where whether she means she has a trans child or she's trans, I'm not really sure. But like, where's the solidarity? Like, How can you actually think people are going to support what you're doing? This has nothing to do with your child. It has everything to do with your choices as a parent and the way that you exploit your kids online. You just want to you know, shit, you just f shit all over somebody else's parenting style just because it's different. She's a dude. No, I don't agree with this. This viewer actually said nothing about your parenting style. And she said everything about you using your child to make money on social media. This is a big deflect. She is deflecting, deflecting, deflecting. God, I hate people like that. I'm sorry. She just said she hates this viewer because she knows this viewer is right. This comment stung. Why are you saying you hate this viewer? You just preached at us for 15 minutes about being nice, being kind, not sharing your opinion. And here you are saying you hate someone? That's not nice. A comment just rubbed me up the wrong way. How dare you say that our reality isn't our reality. Like you have no idea the level of hate that we get on a daily basis. I just choose to ignore it. You didn't ignore this comment. She didn't ignore this comment because this one really got her. And that's because this comment had some truth to it and it really got to her. Because when someone's just leaving hate comments that are BS and make no sense, those are easy to ignore. But the comments that sting and have some truth, it's hard to ignore those. I've had enough of that rant. Let's move on. Jonathan posted this on Instagram. I do like making YouTube videos, but after my week trial, I concluded, nope, the vlogs are for me anymore. I think he meant aren't for me anymore, which is mad because I spent 12 years doing that, but I still love the connection with people who view them. So I was thinking about maybe doing a podcast, topical chats with Anna, like no kids, but without all the extra work of having to make it a podcast. What do you think? So he wants to start this podcast, but without doing all the work to make it a podcast. <laughs> he wants to put little effort into it. Here's the current status of their YouTube channel. Every video is gone. I'm sure they made all of them private. They changed their profile picture. Their profile picture used to be a picture of their entire family. Now it's just Jonathan and Anna and a dog. He also posted this on Instagram. Just because everybody tells you at one point in time, what you're doing is right doesn't mean it will always be the case. I've been thinking about this for a while. I said on the book press tour that I wouldn't do YouTube today the same way I did it before. And also my babies are not babies anymore. So I felt the time has come. I love my kids more than I love YouTube videos. I don't know if doing YouTube was the right or wrong thing to do, but I did it. So now I'm undoing it. I'll be honest, it was sad watching them all disappear, but I think it's for the best. But recognizing, listening, and growing is all a part of becoming a better person. After years and years of backlash and exploiting their kids and sharing so much, now they decide to make all their videos private? I think there's something else going on here. A YouTuber just doesn't get rid of their YouTube account, private all their videos, especially the Sakoni Jolies, who have been doing YouTube forever, 12 years. They're the original, the OG, one of the original family vloggers. Something else is going on here, and I don't know what it is, but I am happy that they removed all the videos of their kids on YouTube. But unfortunately, it's a little too late. They've shared so much. They've exploited their kids so much. Everybody already knows so much about their lives, about their kids, about their struggles. I'm hoping their kids can move forward and have a private life, but I don't think that will be the case. Jonathan did this before. They left YouTube for a while and came back. I don't think they made all of their videos private, but they have definitely taken a break from YouTube before. Do I think they will continue to use their kids in ads over on Instagram and TikTok? I think they definitely will. I don't think they made all of these videos private to protect their kids. I think they did it to protect their own mental health. I think they're tired of the backlash. They're tired of the comments and opinions. The Sakoni Jolies will always be on social media. I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon. And I'm sure Jonathan and Anna will do something on YouTube, just the two of them. Will the kids be off YouTube forever? I don't know, but I sure hope so. 
Tell me what your thoughts are down below. I know y'all have some thoughts and opinions on this and I'm ready to hear them. You can watch some of my previous videos by clicking on these thumbnails.